Hi everyone, today is October 15th, 2014 and I'm digging my Danver Long uh, carrots. And as you can see, I got a nice little crop here. We're going to dig some up more today and we're also going to do some freezing and I'll take you through that process. Okay, these are coming up pretty nice. We'll see if we can get a couple of them pulled up to show you. Some are also have rotted because we've had a ton of moisture this year. So they don't look too bad, do they? I also used a potato fork to get some of them out that broke off. But for the most part, really easy to pull. Really nice to pull because it is just wet. There's one not very big. We're going to have a few that aren't much to them, but that's okay. Nice one. I normally will just freeze these and use them for soups this winter. So there's one broke off. And then we'll just take them out. And there's some really small ones too because it was kind of crowded. So let's finish up here and we'll come back and I'll show you what we all got. All right, that's it. Say we got a pretty good crop. Three short little rolls. Now, I told you I was going to freeze them. I've dried them too in the past. And years ago, I used to can them, but I don't do a lot of canning anymore. And um, I like to freeze them. This time, I'm going to freeze them, chop them, blanch them, and freeze them on a cookie sheet. And then put them in the freezer, let them freeze separately, and then put them in bags. So when I want to go grab a cup or two cups or so I'll be able to do it very easily and I'll take you along with me as I do that now I'm just going to cut the tops off and uh, put these somewhere in a cool area until I can get at them and that'll be you know on this video so I hope you enjoyed got a nice carrot crop and it's always nice for chicken soup hamburger soup uh, anything any kind of soups I make in the winter I usually add this to it and it's just something that's really nice to have on hand. Next thing we'll be doing is we'll clean them up, cut them, blanch them, and freeze them. So, so stay with me and we'll continue on. Hi everyone, hey, it's, a, it's the next day. We're going to be putting away the carrots. I'm going to be cutting them up, blanching them, and putting them away in freezer bags. And I'm just going to take you through the process. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. But I just like to share with you what I'm doing here in the Midwest. I do have some carrots ready to go. Couldn't find my peeler. So um, some of them I didn't peel. I don't think it's necessary, honestly. Um, unless you can get, they are pretty dirty though, but the brush didn't quite get it off. So I just took my knife and just went like so. And it took some of it, some of the dirties and stuff off. So it's all, it's all good. But one thing about it, when you blanch, it's going to cook that off anyway. So, not a problem. Alright, let's get going. Alright, we're just going to cut a few. And I am going to be making, keeping this as simple as possible. Now, these were the Danvers Half Long Carrots. Now, some of them might have got a little too big. But these look pretty good, don't they? The color's good. And I'm just going to take and slice them. And then we're going to be putting them in my Vidalia Chop Wizard, which I love this tool. What it does is it dices them really nice size, all uniform, all the same. And I don't have to do that. I mean, I can um, do it myself, but honestly, it's so much faster. Okay, these are hard, so I'm going to cut them pretty good. And then I'm going to put them in the Vidalia Chop Wizard, which... I use this for lots and lots and lots of things. Some of these I might have to cut. So basically I got the larger carrot size. We'll see how that does. We'll do a few and then I'll show you. Great tool. If you don't have one, you might want to get one. It's just really, really nice. Sometimes the little bigger ones are a little tougher, but 
comes off like so. And there you got your cubed diced carrots. Okay, now I'm gonna do this size, I think. I think last time I did the smaller size, but I think these will be okay. And they'll cook down fairly fast. So once I get that done, then I'm gonna we'll get all these done and then we'll have to blanch them. Bring, bring your water to a rolling boil and then throw these in three minutes, okay? Throw them into the hot water in three minutes. So what does blanching do? Blanching cleanses off the surface dirt and microorganism, brightens the color, helps retain vitamins and reduces the action of enzymes which can destroy the fresh flavor after four weeks. It also shrinks the product, making packing easy. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be packing these separately. And we're gonna, I'm gonna take you through all this, okay? So I'm gonna get all these done and then we'll come back. All right, there's a nice pile. I, this is only half of the carrots that I have. I have more outside. I'm just gonna leave them for now. But um, I'm letting the water heat up. And once that gets boiling, these, I will submerge these in there and blanch them for three minutes. Then I will take them out and put them in cold ice water and let them cool down and then we are going to bag these. I'm going to I want to put them on a cookie sheet so they will freeze individually and just like I've done some other things that have, you know, that I've put away. It's kind of a nice way to do it. Not everything's sticking together cuz like when I do soups, I only need I only want like a cup or two at a time, so it'll be really easy to measure this way. All right, coming to a rolling boil. Now I'm going to put the carrots in. I'm not going to put them all in because I didn't allow for enough room. And three minutes. We're going to have two batches here. Okay, once this is done three minutes, I'll be uh, draining them. I'll be straining them and then put them in cold ice water right away. All right, I'm cooling them down. Once I cool them down, I'll strain them and then let them drip dry pretty good. And then I'm going to spread them out on a cookie sheet. All right. These are all blanched. Now, beans, these are wet. They may, there's going to be some sticking together. Okay, but it'll be easy to break apart if I do them a thin layer. We'll just see how it goes. All right, we got three pans. Just gonna stack them like so in the freezer. All right, it's been a few hours, and I was gonna show them to you. Worked pretty good. Worked real good. Some are sticking together, but they break apart really easy. So we'll bag them now and then just put them in the freezer and I'll be able to pull these out as I need them like a cup at a time or a couple cups at a time or whatever and you know you don't have to do it this way you can you can do it you can put them in the bags wet and fresh uh, you can just put them in small bags at a couple at a time you know it's whatever what you want to do but I, I kind of like this idea of doing it this way See how loose they are? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will use the straw method to seal these up and put them away and bring them out this winter for our suits. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, post a comment or question below, and we'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.